Okay, so I want to offer my thoughts on accountability because I feel like accountability is being used to victim blame. Um, online, all you hear are people talking about like, you should take accountability for this person hurting you. You should take accountability for your part in someone um, violating you, disrespecting you. And for me, I'm just tired of it <laughs> because it is just victim blaming. It is easier to blame the person who has experienced the harm than it is to actually hold someone accountable for their wrong actions. And there is no thing that I can think of that would hold you accountable, that would make you accountable for the harm that somebody does to you. If I am walking down the street and somebody robs my purse, like grabs my purse and runs down the street, right? And robs me of my purse, right? The equivalent to being accountable for stuff is like, oh, you should have been holding your purse closer. What? <laughs> like, let's actually talk about the issue. Let's talk about why I live in a world where someone is taking my purse. Right? Let's talk about like, that that shouldn't happen in the first place. We do this a lot. Well, culture does this a lot where we blame the victim. We make the victim responsible for the harm that they have uh, experienced. And it's lazy. It's lazy, it is uh, people who are actually complicit in the harm being done to somebody because if we're really talking about justice and accountability, we should go straight to the person who did the harm. We as a community should be holding that person responsible for what they did so that it doesn't happen again. What happens though is that we blame the victim for being a victim or like we, you know, we say you're not being a victim the correct way. You're talking too loudly. You're bleeding too loudly. We don't want to hear it. That's really what you're saying. We don't want to hear the harm that you that you have experienced. We don't want to be bothered. Right? Like, we're not interested. You're disturbing us. You're disrupting our peaceful bubble. Boo-hoo, someone hurt you. Get over it. You should have done X, Y, and Z, right? making the person responsible. And then it creates this false sense of like security that if we do everything right, then nothing will happen to us. That somehow we are um, capable of preventing any harm or any harmful situation from occurring. And it's not true. Yeah, I just had thoughts. And I don't know if it's guilt that people feel. I don't know if it's like, oh, you know, I feel bad because I wish I could have stopped this from happening to you. And so therefore I'm gonna put the responsibility on you for this not happening to you. I don't know if it is like, just like callousness and unkindness and cruelty. Um, I'm leaning more towards the latter half of this explanation because it's just so careless and it's so disrespectful. And it is, it is so like willfully ignorant to say some stuff like that. Like you're held accountable for the harm that somebody did to you. You were not held accountable for anything. If you feel like, and the reason why I'm saying this is because there's a lot going on. People are being exposed for the abusers that they are, and justice is hopefully going to be served in these instances. But of course, there will always be people online talking about some, why did you wait so long to say something? Oh, what did you do to deserve it? You should be held accountable for being in a relationship with this person for that long, blah, blah, blah. Just very lazy arguments, very lazy and like thoughtless, empty arguments. And I'm really trying to figure out why. I'm really trying to I'm really trying to get to the heart of it because it disturbs me. It grieves me that in the face of oppression and harm and violence that a person instead of going straight to the person who has caused harm, we go to the person who has been subjected to that harm and hold them responsible and saddle them with the pain and them with the responsibility of fixing things, of swallowing your pain, of saying nothing. Um and I think on some level it is because people idolize people, people prop people up to, you know, not be held accountable, right? Like these people have gotten away with a lot of things, but I also think if we're really going to be honest, a lot of people have done similar things and they see themselves in what's going on, right? They see themselves in the people that are doing the harm and they don't want to be held accountable for the harm that they have done. The brave thing to do would be to actually assess and look back like dang have i been complicit like maybe you haven't done the harm maybe you have a homeboy or homegirl who have done the same thing right like oh have i been complicit have i held my tongue when i should have spoke up for somebody who was powerless to say anything right people will backflip their way into explanations um 
into making themselves feel good. And so I guess in that sense, it makes sense. Like if you see yourself in the person doing the harm, then you want to protect yourself. You, you are mirroring, you're mirroring, uh, you're seeing your reflection in the person who did the harm. That's what I'm trying to say. So that idolization and also maybe guilt and maybe also some level of fear like maybe people think that if I do all the right things, that would never happen to me. And as a survivor of many things, I'm trying to tell you it's not true. And if you are a survivor, if you are someone, even if you have never spoken up about it, shout out to Lotus Flower. She went live earlier talking about speaking your truth and telling your story. And I agree, there's power in telling your story. But even if you have not, right, I want you to know that it is not your fault. You are not to be held accountable for something that somebody did to you. Sit with it. It is not your fault. It is not, I don't care. I don't care people's, oh, all these red flags. I don't care how many red flags you've seen. There's nothing that you can do to will someone to harm you. I can go to, I can go to somebody right now who loves me and tell them, hit me, you know, harm me. And they will have restraint not to <laughs> because they don't wanna harm people, right? People who wanna harm people will find a way to harm people. It is not your fault. And I'm saying this as someone who has been told that it is my fault, that I shouldn't have allowed someone to harm me, that I had all power to do something. And, I, and for a long time, I looked back on those situations and like, dang, I wish I had, I wish I didn't. And sure, like in hindsight, stuff is 2020 that you weren't able to see, you know, back then, but also like have grace for yourself because you didn't know what you didn't know. You didn't know. And even if you thought that this person was problematic or dangerous, there is nothing there's nothing that you did that is worthy of you being harmed. Nothing. I don't care. I don't care. If you were not harming somebody, there is nothing that you did to deserve what happened to you. And I don't want you to get caught in these like talking points and these people just being shallow and awful people. And I don't want you to get swept up in it and to be like, oh, I did something wrong. It's my fault. It is not your fault. It is not your fault. It is not your fault. There's nothing that you could have done to make someone harm you. You can't make someone harm you. And if someone dares say something like that, how much restraint do they not have? How much self-control do they not have? Right? It just, it just pisses me off. It really makes me angry. Like I wasn't even planning to do a video, but I really had to say something because I'm really tired of it. It's not accountability. It's victim blaming. It's lazy. It's insidious. It's evil. It's disgusting. You are not held accountable for what people did to you. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. You are not held accountable for an awful thing someone did to you. Because I'm sure if you had it your way, it wouldn't have happened, right? You wouldn't have been crossed, you wouldn't have been harmed. And it puts the responsibility again on the victim. And we bypass, not even bypass, we don't even get there. We, we totally ignore the person, the system, the thing that did the harm in the first place. I get so upset about that. Like I hate when people are mistreated and when people are lied to and people are telling you that, oh, what did you do? Because one, again, either they see themselves in the person that did the harm or they are too lazy and too fearful, too afraid to stand up for what is right. Yeah. So I'll probably do more thoughts later, but I just had to share this. I love you. It is not your fault. You are not held responsible for what someone did to you. You are not, don't allow people to gaslight you into being accountable. Oh, you need to be accountable for who you date. No, no, what needs to happen is justice. What needs to happen is community needs to hold people accountable for the harm that they do so they can stop causing the harm. When people say stuff like that, like, oh, well, you knew that this person was like this before. Okay, and so did you and you did nothing about it. So now what? You knew it too, right? Like, so did you call them? Did you pull them aside? Did you hold them accountable? Did you did you give them some sort of consequence? Like, I don't hang around people who are abusers. I don't hang around people like that. You can't you can't hang with me, right? Even if I cannot um I guess enact justice in the way that I want to, right? Like there's still a consequence for your action. And there are a bunch of enablers around of a bunch of abusers allowing them to continue to cause harm. But the message in this is it's not your fault. Accountability, people are using that word and overusing that. How am I be accountable for something? I don't have the power to stop. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, 
Like, what is it? I can't even look up. What is the definition of accountability? Hold on. Yeah, I looked up the definition. It's not giving what people think it's giving. Um, but also, like, you're accountable to yourself. You're accountable to yourself. You are your protector. You are your own love. Like, it really sucks when you go through an awful time and people don't believe you or people blame you for it or people say that there's something that you could have done or that somehow you have been, you have had your hand in something and it's like, and you're broken hearted and it seems like nobody cares and nobody understands. It is very lonely, but I see you. I'm with you. I, I am with you and I'm so sorry that happened. You are not held accountable for something awful that someone did to you. It is not your fault. It is not your burden to carry, right? Like, I want you to be free. And I'm only saying this because I wasn't, because I was holding myself accountable and responsible for stuff that I had no control over happening in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Um, and what that also communicates to people is that there's something about you that is worthy of being harmed. You see what I'm saying? Like. When you're saying, when you're telling someone to hold them account, like you need to hold this, you need to hold this L, you're accountable for what happened to you. Like what you're saying is like, you're worthy of disgusting behavior. You're worthy of abuse. You're worthy of harm. And you're not, you're none of those things. There's nothing about you. Like there's so many things that I just feel like, I'm just like, Ugh, I'm not here for it. <laughs> I'm not here for it. And this is one of the things, so. I see you, I love you. You're not held responsible for what people did to you. Okay, take care of yourself. Love yourself, see yourself. All right, talk to you later.